Today we'll be looking at the basics of Visual Basic um, using the Hello World tutorial. Once you launch Visual Studio, be mindful that I'm using Visual Studio 2019 here, so your interface might look slightly different. Um, the first thing you need to do is select the Create a New Project button. Then you want to look up the Windows Form App.NET Framework for Visual Basic. You might have to search for it up here inside the um, search profile. Once you select it, you can either double click here or hit Next. Make sure you give your project a meaningful name. So we've got one Hello World. Then make sure you save it somewhere where you will remember where it's um, stored. And then just select the Create button. You'll notice by default that it will open up to a Windows form application. Visual Basic is both a text-based and a visual language, hence the name Visual Basic. Um, a couple of things I suggest you configure first is on the side here, you'll see a, solution, a toolbox option. Left click on that option and then at the top right hand corner of that menu, select the uh, pin and that way it's going to pin all the major components that we'll be using with inside these following tutorials. On the main stage here, um, we've got the canvas or uh, where we actually design our interfaces. On the right hand side here, we can see our different forms and um, components. On the bottom side here, we have the properties window, which we'll go through shortly. So let's go for properties. Every single control or component on the screen has its own properties. So for example, when I selected the form one, down the bottom side here, you'll see that there are different ones. So let's go over some of the major ones. So if we go down to name, this name here is what's referred to in the code, the name brackets. If you scroll further down to the other name, so if you go to appearance and then go to text, you can then give the name a more meaningful, the form a more meaningful name. So we'll call it hello world. And you can see it's updated up here inside the form taskbar. And then what we're going to do today is we're going to create a button and then present some text to the screen. So to do so, you go to toolbox, select the button option, then draw your button on the screen. You can make it as large or small as you like. You notice here that the button has a label, so we can also change that too. So if we go back to our appearance, which is at the top, and then we go to our text, we can change that label and we'll call it submit. And you notice there um, it will change to submit. Then the way we apply code inside here is we double click on the button and this will go to what's called the code view. So you can see up in the tabs up here, I can switch between my design view, which is the visual aspect, and then the code view, which is where we code. And the code we'll be using today is something called message box. So we type in message box. And the great thing about um, Visual Basic is it tries to give you hints in terms of from the library what you can do with that particular um, component. So we're going to do something called the show, which means what we want is a message box coming to the screen showing the following text, hello world. Okay, and then all you need to do is you either hit the um, play button at the top or F5. You'll notice right away it will go into the window. We'll click on the submit button. You can see here that we have a hello world uh, dialog box up here. Press OK to close it. Close again. One other thing that we can do is we can also modify the text that's displayed in the taskbar by going comma. And then anything in the second double quotes will be in the taskbar from the message box. So if I press play again, select my submit button. You can see here I have hello world and then my message box title. So um, I suggest that you play around with this. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can go through the form or button properties and change the colors, the fonts. Also maybe um, change the message box text, but yeah, that's basically the introduction to Visual Basic. Thank you for watching this tutorial.